being there. Yes. For your children. That's right. Which you are. <gasps> All right, on a daily basis, we might read or hear about what could make us healthier, smarter, or stronger, but not every medical study has a clear answer. A lot of gray area here with another edition of our medical thumbs up or thumbs down. I think this is Chris's inaugural time. It's my thumbs inaugural up. time. <laughs> Surgeon and scientist Dr. Ryle John Dale. Henry, your first time thumbs up or thumbs down? First time. Well, yeah. Dust off your thumbs, son. All right. All right. Take well, it away, let's Dr. Go for it. You know, we covered so much with radiation and other things. Yeah. I wanted to turn it around and look at other sides of health that are interesting, but not so serious. So okay. thumbs up if it's true, thumbs down if it's false. Simple the first rule. one. You go to those bathrooms and you see the little eye sensor, the hands-free faucet. Yeah. They have less germs. A study just showed it. True or false? I'm, I'm going to say true even though I suspect you're going to... Well, you could tell from the setup yeah. you're a good test taker, but no, it's false. Johns Hopkins found more bugs in the hands-free faucets than they did with the ones where you turn them on and off. Now, none of us are at risk of getting infected, but if you got cancer patients and you have to worry about things like that, they're going back to the hands-on faucets, not the hands-free. What about and the soap dispenser hands-free? I'd be I curious like it all hands-free. I gotta I be honest too. with you. Less what germs you or not, the paper, the soap, <laughs> so I wanna I walk in and walk why out. There were more germs? Why? Great question. It's not actually about the surface. They found that the plumbing required oh. to get it all set up for hands-free had more joints and screens, and that's where those little guys hide. Interesting. Excellent question. Number two. Menthol cigarettes are worse for you, and that's why the FDA should ban them. True or false? Henry. True. Henry, you're down too now. Oh, oh. oh. oh man. You, know, you might get voted off the island now. It's <laughs> false. Now, you would think cigarettes, are, they found smaller uh, a percentage of lung cancer. So the FDA doesn't want to ban them because they're worse for you health-wise. They want to ban them because they're a little smoother and kids pick them up a little bit easier and they yeah. serve as a bridge to smoking. So yeah. Yeah. hunches don't always come true. That's why science and medicine, we want to take tests. Sure. The next one is infrequent sex triggers heart attacks. Infrequent. Not doing it enough. <laughs> Um, I'm going to say that's, that's false. That's a trick question. I'm going to go false. sideways because it well, I no, think no, yeah. I'm, I'm the She's only one. Yeah, I am allowed to have my own opinion, and I'm going to say that's, a, that's as good as a non-answer. Because you know you why only get I half the that? points though. Yeah. If yeah. Keeping I don't track. But you know why I say that? Because I think it depends on the person. We'll, if they give, have a heart we'll give it to Michaela. Issue. We'll give it to Michaela. It what? infrequent what? sex does trigger heart attack. Here's the thing. I thought having like rigorous sex could trigger heart attack. Kind of true, but if you only do it once in a while. So there's a, there's a reason to talk to your significant other about doing it more frequently. If you only do it once in a while, those spurts of excessive physical activity, be it sex or running up 10 flights of stairs in Santa Monica, those are associated with triggers and heart attacks. But what you, do you know? So again, it has mitigating circumstances depending on the patient. If right? you're healthy, not, not a problem. But if you don't do much and, and you have spikes in activity, <laughs> Those might be linked to. If your wife starts asking for a little bit more, maybe she's trying to get rid of you. <laughs> <laughs> get rid of the <laughs> And the last one. Please the, continue, Doctor. The FDA has said that those uh, calorie counts that they want on menus, yeah. we don't need them. You know why? Because it doesn't matter. It doesn't make people healthier. True or false? Get rid of those calorie counts shown on the menus. False. Oh, I think it helps. Uh, okay, wait. Just to clarify the question, you're saying. Not whether it, as an opinion, hey, it might benefit someone, but does it a actually... A study showed that the FDA says that having calories on your menus when you go to restaurants, it doesn't make a difference. I'm going to agree with that. I'm going to say that's true. I say it makes a difference. Wait, wait, wait. False. Trick question. Mm -hmm. It absolutely makes a difference. Yeah. Right. And if that was the answer you guys were thinking, yep. that's an important point. When people look at the menu and they see 1,500 calories, and you know you're about to, ha you're supposed to have about 2,000, you got to think about yeah. that. And you look at something else that's choice. 400, right. and now businesses are making products and foods that say we're under 500 calories. We need to be more it helps. mindful. We it do. Helps. And by the way, this doesn't count. It totally counted, <laughs> it count. and the doctor said so. <laughs> For more information about I'm these topics, favorites. and he totally is uh, about I can't these topics and so much more. Favorite. Not, not so. KTLA. .com slash Dr. John Dial.